The Battle of Nanri Island was a conflict between the Republic of China Army and the People's Liberation Army over Nanri Island in today's Nanri Town, Xiao District, Puchen, Fujian, People's Republic of China off the coast of mainland China. This conflict occurred from the 11th of October 1952 to the 15th of October 1952 and resulted in a Rocker victory with complete destruction of PLA forces. However Rocker later abandoned this island and retreated, with all its captured prizes and POWs, to Taiwan. Chapter 1 – Introduction With the Korean War erupting in the 1950s, the USA resumed military and financial support for the Rock military, whereby the Rocker acquired training and equipment from USA. One of the most important military breakthroughs for the Rocker was to gain more advanced amphibious warfare knowledge and skills, as well as more advanced mechanized armed forces. For the Rock, receiving assistance from USA was not just a commitment on its part, yet equally meant that the Rock was required to fulfill its own commitment with regards to the USA's support. The best manner in which to proceed with this was to utilize this acquired military knowledge and weaponry in an actual military situation. In 1952, large-scale confrontation between People's Volunteer Army and the forces of the United Nations began in Korea. In order to divert the attention of China from the Korean front, in addition to check on the result of its military assistance to the forces of the ROC, the USA decided to initiate military action along the southeastern coastline of China. The plan was laid down by Western Enterprises Incorporated, a private company in Taiwan which it was assumed pertained to, and under the direct control of, the CIA. The company was responsible for intelligence gathering along the coast of China. After having gathered a sizable amount of evidence, the plan was to attack the Nanri Island during the duty takeover time period of the PLA, as there would have been only a single company of about 300 soldiers left on the island, a negligible strength of troops which would be capable to mount a successful and effective defense. The plan was only made known to the 1st Strike Team of 75th Division on October 9, and no special training was provided. On the night of October 9, Kinmen Defense Command ordered the Rockers 75th Division to load the landing craft under the cover of darkness. On 10 October 1952, before dawn, the 75th Division and a few soldiers of the Anti-Communist National Salvation Army, divided amongst three landing vehicle tracked, and about ten landing crafts landed on Nanri Island. During the battle, the PLA sent two battalions and two companies of reinforcements from the mainland, consisting of over 1 apostrophe 000 soldiers to Nanri Island. Most of the PLA's reinforcements consisted of raw recruits with no previous experience and possessing limited training, significantly limiting their combat skills and effectiveness. The raid failed, largely because the civilian junks the guerrillas used as amphibious lift dropped the troops too far at sea and left them stranded there. The nationalists were forced to withdraw on the 14th of October. According to the Rocker, the withdrawal of troops began on the 13th of October 1952. Yet official statement from the Rock would suggest that the withdrawal of troops actually began two days later, on October 15th. Given that the plan of the invasion was not to actually occupy the island, but to divert the attention of China from the Korean War, in addition to testing the newly acquired military capability from the USA the rocker withdrew from the island. On the 22nd of October 1952, the prisoners of war of the PLA were sent to Kaohsiung, and later sent to Taipei. And few months after the Nanri Island battle, rocker again won another battle at nearby Meijo Island. Chapter 2 – Aftermath Rocker seized over 1,000 assault rifles, 60 light machine guns and 40 over mortars and other equipment. Over 1,000 livestock, over a 1.4 tons of food supply were also seized and various other items such as furniture and clothings were also seized. Nanri Island Postal Charge Daffair Jiang Yujun was taken prisoner by the Rocco along with the all of the 3 yuan stamps, 6 yuan money orders, and 5 jiao tax stamps. Fuzzer military complex have undergone major structural changes, improved training and procured more advanced equipments. 
The result of these actions is the victory of the Dongshan Island Campaign happened the following year.